we're going to be doing an image similar to the image that we see here. And this is by an artist named Robert Indiana. Now his real name is Robert Clark. He took on the Robert Indiana name um, for his art, for him to be known as an artist with that name. But this is the symbol that he has become famous for and he's considered a pop artist. And it's the letters L-O-V-E and it's the O is tilted sideways. So we're gonna be inspired by this picture today and we're gonna turn it into some type of a, a Valentine with the shape here instead of the circle, we'll make it a heart. And then we'll add our own little characters and things to it. But a lot of times artists will start with an inspiration picture and then move from there. This was originally designed by Robert Indiana for the, I believe the Mo Museum of Modern Arts um, Christmas card. And so it was red and green, and then the blue background st stood for the sky. And after this became pretty famous, he then went on to make sculptures. This is the sculpture that he did, and it's one of many sculptures. This one comes from Tokyo. This is actually in a little park area in Tokyo. And it's larger than life size. Actually, you can even walk through here in the middle here. Um, he did many of them. I believe there's even one, um, I think there's one in Indiana as well. There's several of them throughout the country and world. But this artist is world famous for this pop art image, this iconic love symbol. And he did other words as well. But this is what's going to inspire our art today. Let me show you what it's going to look like when we're done. Here's a few examples that I did. And so while we're making our own picture, you can kind of have in mind and, or start thinking about what you want to do with yours. Because like I said, we're gonna make it our original art, so it's gonna be our own. So we can change this to make it the way we want. But we're all gonna have the L-O, which is gonna be the symbol of a heart, V-E. But this is where you can change it. So I have a little bug here, or B. So this is gonna be B mine. But the little character up here, you can change. Or if you want to even leave it blank, you can. Here's another example I did. And I did a little owl at the top. And then here's another one with lots of line pattern. And I did a little spatter painting here. Lots of lined swirls. And this was a little bear. It's just a simplified cartoon at the, at the top of it. So to begin with, we wanna first start off with our letters, L-O-V-E. And of course, this is gonna be a heart. The first step, if you start with a square piece of paper, or in this case, my students have a rectangular piece of paper, that's fine too. We're gonna to fold it in half, and my students have already done so. And then we're gonna fold the bottom up to the top. So I folded it so that it forms a rectangle and then I'm folding it again. You just want to have a two folds so that when you open it up you end up with four equal sections. And if you start with a square piece of paper that's fine as well or it can be rectangle. As you can see our squares are rectangular here. You may choose because as an artist we oftentimes have choices we can choose to hold our paper horizontally in front of us, or we can choose it to be vertical. Either way is fine. I'm gonna choose horizontal because that's what best shows in my camera here. To start off our picture, we're gonna be focusing on the center of our page, and we're gonna jump up to the first square or rectangle and we're gonna make a large L the size of this space. And it doesn't have to be straight on your page. It actually looks better if it's a little crooked. So I'm just gonna freehand an L. Again, it's a little bit of a diagonal line. And I'm coming all the way over. I'm using most of this space in here. And then I'm gonna bring my line up it's about two fingers wide. You want this to be pretty thick. It's about an inch and a half. We're making bubble letters. 
and I'm coming over, or block letters. Then I'm gonna come back down, and I'm gonna bring this across. You want it to be nice and thick so you can add some fun patterns and designs to it. So that's at a slight angle. Now our heart is gonna be in here. You wanna leave space for a little character or cartoon that you're gonna add, but we wanna use up this whole space here. For the heart, if you find your fold line that's in the middle, I'm finding the center of my page, I'm gonna jump up halfway, and then I'm gonna jump over just a little bit. And I'm gonna make a large letter M that's a small letter M. So I just came up with a bump, up with a bump. It takes up almost this whole rectangle. Notice there's a little bit of space here. And of course I have space at the top to add my cartoon to. Now the heart, I want to come almost to the bottom where the fold is. So I'm gonna bring it around and down, and that's a vertical line down, around on the other side, a vertical line down. So I have my L, my O, which is represented by a, the symbol of a heart. Now I want my V and E. So I'm gonna do a large letter V here. Again, I'm gonna start on this fold and just jump over a little bit, and I'm not at the top here, and I'm gonna come down almost to the bottom of the page. It's a diagonal down. Then I'm gonna bring this side up quite large. I'm gonna make them the same on both sides. And then I'm just gonna come in and in on this side. I want these two lines to be approximately the same length. And then I'm just going down diagonal and down diagonal. So I have a pretty thick letter V. Now we're gonna do the same on this side for the letter E. It's gonna take up most of this space here. If I find my fold, I'm gonna jump over approximately the same space. It's almost a finger's width from, this, from the fold. And I'm gonna go down approximately where the V ends is for, where I'm gonna stop my E. Then I'm gonna come over across and across on the bottom. I'm gonna come down and up. This is approximately an inch. It's wider than a, the thickness of my finger. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna come back. These two lines need to be ending in the same space. Then I'm gonna do a short line down and a short line up. And I'm gonna make the small center of the E. I come over horizontally, over horizontally, and end it. Notice this ends before these end. So this one is the smaller piece in the center. Once you have your letters the way you like, then you can design yours. You can add whatever you'd like to it. For this one, I decided to make my heart really wide, so I added more pattern coming out. And then I added some decorative line design around the edge. And I designed this with a floral pattern. You can add little characters. If you're gonna add a character off of the heart, then you can just simply draw in the character. I start with a curve, and then from there, add any designs for the face. If you're doing a bear, then you would add the ears and the little nose and eyes. I even put his paws on the side. With the B, I did bulgy eyes. I'll show you a B right here. Bulgy eyes. I added some curly Q antennas. Then I added the details to the eyes and some big wings out and around with a happy smile. You could even decorate the B with some stripes if you have any room here. 
You could even put the bottom of the bee coming this way, his little stinger. And then do a trail of dotted lines. I'm gonna add another layer of wings here. And I also did one with an owl. If you would like to do the owl, circular eyes, a triangle for the beak, and some pointy ears. And then I did some bumps here for the wings. I'll show you what my students have come up with. To finish off the bee picture, I added the little trail of dotted lines where the bee was, has flown. And then I wrote B, mine. And then you wanna make sure that you sign it and put the date down at the bottom. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. And for those viewers who have signed up to support this channel, I wanna give a big shout out to them. If you would like to become a patron and support this channel, you can click on the title of the video, which will take you to a link to my Patreon account. The art images you're seeing now have been produced by my students in grades two through five. I hope you enjoy the student examples.